10 and 5. The Arizona Colters are. Yes, they backed into the playoffs. They've lost three consecutive games. They're going to miss the Dallas Cowboys, which is a hot football team right now, on both sides of the ball. You look at the Cowboys, what they've been able to do, they just crushed my Washington football team. It was an embarrassment. 56 to 14. Coach, when an offensive lineman and a defensive lineman on your team scores against the opposition, it's a bad day for the opposition, and it was for the Washington football team. But if you look at what they're able to do, they didn't run the ball that effectively, but Dak Prescott was out throwing the football 330 yards and four touchdowns. If they continue to play like that, if Dak doesn't turn it over, if they can get consistent running, and if that defense that Dan Quinn's been playing with the last few weeks continues to get healthier each and every day, they're going to be a tough team to handle in the playoff hunt. I, I agree with you on uh, the Cowboys. That's why I said I thought Dak Prescott was a candidate for the player of the year at the NFL because I think he's just coming on strong. He's going to play very, very well in the playoffs. But, you know, you're in good position when the two opposition linemen slug one another during the course of the game. <laughs> Mark. It, doesn't, it doesn't sound very good for the Washington football team. But. The Cowboys are a good football team. I, I know Ezekiel Elliott is rushed for 900 yards this year, but I tell you, I think Poland is a guy that really gives them a big play potential. They have great receivers, great offensive line. Their defenses play well. And you look at Diggs and how many times he intercepts. I wouldn't throw to his side. I, what do you have, eight or nine interceptions, which is more than most teams have. Eleven. He's got, I mean, he's unbelievable in, in the way he goes to the ball. But let's look at uh, let's look at the uh, Cardinals. I think they're a dangerous football team. Anytime you have Murray quarterback, he is very dangerous. But you look at the receivers: AJ Green, DeAndre Hopkins, Ertz, now a tight end. I, I mean, they're capable of really exploding. They're not playing very well right now because they're not doing little things the right way. They're making foolish mistakes. But I do think that they're a dangerous football team. I think the Cowboys prevail 31-24 because. If something were to happen, like the Vikings were to beat the Green Bay Packers, the Cowboys would end up with the number one ranking. That means they'd have an open date the first week, and then the next two games would be at home. Well, DeAndre Hopkins, hopefully he'll get back for the playoffs. You look at James Conner, hopefully he comes back for this game. He's got a heel injury, I believe, and he's their most physical player offensively. This team has been known to be a finesse, finesse football team, and it's caught up with them again. If you look at Cliff Kingsbury as the head coach at Texas Tech and with the Arizona Cardinals the second half of the season, he's always had a losing record, and they're doing it again this year, even though they had the fast start. When you look at their last game, they had 11 penalties against the Colts. How about this, Coach? The Colts came in with their interior line, both guards, and center down. They lost three more offensive linemen in the game. They lost one of their blocking tight ends in the game, and they were still able to get Jonathan Taylor over 100 yards rushing and win the football game, which I thought was a great coaching game by Frank Reich. The Cardinals right now have to figure out a way to stop the bleeding. I don't think Cliff Kloonsbury is the guy that can lead this football team. I don't know if Kyler Murray has it to lead this football team. They brought in experienced veterans, J.J. Watt. Unfortunately, he got hurt. They brought in leadership guys, A.J. Green. It's just not working right now, and they've got to find a way to turn it around. But against the Cowboys on the road, getting five and a half, I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Cowboys are going to deliver because right now this team, they've already won the NFC East, and they're feeling it. They've got a shot to have that one week by, and they can play some games at home. They're going to continue to press and win. I like the Cowboys to win this game. It's not going to be as ugly as last week against the Washington football team. I think the Cowboys win big in this game. I'm going to Cowboys 38. I'm going to the Arizona Cardinals 24. When you do not control the line of scrimmage when your team doesn't play real, real physical. Later in the year, as the weather gets colder and a variety of different things happen and injuries, who's going to step up? Who's going to play with pain? And who's going to have to miss because of injuries? There's a difference between pain and injury. And the great yeah. teams are the ones that distinguish that. I, I love the Cowboys. I do not see a real fault on the Cowboys football team this year. But as you say, uh, can, they, can the Cardinals stack up? They're capable of it. I don't think they will because they haven't done it the latter half of the year. And unless you're a physical football team, there just comes a time, Mark, you know, you get in a in a brawl in that football game. You just got to out-tough the other team. Your will has to be stronger in there. And the Cardinals don't have that right now. Cowboys do, especially on defense. When you've got DeMarcus Lawrence coming back, Randy Gregory coming back, and the way that they played the last couple weeks, they've gotten healthier now that they're getting to be 100%. And Micah Parsons, that guy is lights out. I don't care what anybody says. I played against Lawrence Taylor. This kid reminds me of Lawrence Taylor, the way he <laughs> just is relentless going after the football. And he's going to be the Kyler Miller Curry uh, killer in this game because he's so athletic. I believe he gets at least two sacks on Kyler Murray and a couple of tackles for losses. I like the Cowboys, like I said, to win big 38-24. 
Well, he might get a chance to get a couple of sacks on Murray, but that's easier said than done. He could be in a position, but Murray is so elusive there. But I did like what Jerry Jones said. He said, I think our defensive front seven is as good as when we won the Super Bowl. That's big. Oh, come on, Jerry. That was decades ago. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was last century. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mark, this, this Dallas Cowboy football team is destined for greatness this year. They're getting hot at the right time. Yep.